Welcome back to another video here on Slam Blocks. Today, we'll be answering the question, is Mackenzie Turner leaving YouTube? Her YouTube channel is now dead. So, we hope you're excited for this video, and if you are, make sure to slap the like button on this video, and possibly even comment. But before we start, we ask for you to click that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We post content just like this very video, and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. It might actually shock you. Hacking Exploiting or cheating is unfair to all Roblox players and creates a poor experience for everyone. These actions are a violation of the Roblox terms of use and will lead to the deletion of an account. Many exploits are scams to get you to download malware, such as a keylogger or other phishing program that can be used to steal your personal information you have on your computer, including your Roblox password. An exploit is the use of glitches and software vulnerabilities in Roblox by a player to alter the game or gameplay for an unfair advantage. Exploits have been defined as a form of cheating. Some exploits are in the form of programs or injectable DLL files, which explicitly break Roblox TOS and can lead to a permanent ban by Roblox. An example would be the popular hacking GUIs in which many exploiting tools are put in the form of a GUI for the player. Other exploits take advantage of flaws in a game scripts or building. A good example would be the infamous noclip glitch in Jailbreak, where players take advantage of the crawl script and thin walls to get into otherwise inaccessible areas. Such exploits are not bannable by Roblox, but players caught doing this can be banned by a developer if the game has moderation infrastructure, like an admin script. Many users believe that the correct term for programs that change Roblox for a player's advantage is exploiting, and others believe hacking is the correct term. However, hacking is the act of gaining unauthorized access to a system while exploiting a vulnerability to do the same. Her failures of YouTube and other projects. Not adding any information about the video in the description field is another cardinal sin that YouTubers sometimes make. The description field can be a great way to showcase your personal website, links to your social profiles, and to acknowledge inspiration for the video. It is also worth noting that content in the description plays an important role in the SEO for the videos. Video tags help the search engine understand the content and context of your video. They should be used to aid and spur the discoverability quotient of your videos. A substantial number of YouTubers do not use the right tags and miss out on a lot of views on their videos. English is the language of choice for a majority of YouTuber users. If you run a non-English YouTube channel, using subtitles is sure a shot of increasing your audience base. But still, there are thousands of popular non-English YouTube channels who do not use closed captioning. YouTube provides an automatic CC option for those who want their videos to be translated into 76 different languages. The auto-translation might mess up the words sometimes, so it is advisable to use subtitles of your own. According to Unruly, most YouTube videos attract an average of 42% of share across Twitter, Facebook, and blogs within the first three days of publication. This gives YouTubers a perfect opportunity to start their social media campaigns for each and every new video they upload. However, a substantial number of YouTubers fail to form a social media strategy, missing out on a lot of views on their videos. YouTubers often wonder why their subscriber viewership is not increasing even after years of uploading engaging content. That is why a periodic reevaluation of the content is absolutely necessary. But many creators fail to recognize the importance of this and keep churning out the same videos, not really catering to what their audience is actually wanting. You need to think like a marketer. You need to be sure about what your audience is going to get from your videos. Most YouTubers fail to realize this and keep oscillating between different types of content. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you have a better understanding as to why her channel is going down the drain, but hopefully she can recover after this. What did you think of today's video? Let us know down in the comments section below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching here on Slam Blocks. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Goodbye.